I've been looking forward to this. It's the season 11. Not finale. Second. Penultimate. Penultimate. That's the word. It's the end of the Premier League. And we might get into Europe. <laughs> That's right, viewers, because just look at it, look at it. We are up in ninth, ninth position. I'm delighted with the way the season's gone. We can still overhaul Liverpool on the final day of the season should they fail to beat Arsenal and we beat Bournemouth. Bournemouth are eighth. So this is a straight shootout between us and them for who finishes in eighth position at least. We also have an FA Cup final to look forward to, but obviously that will be in the season finale in the next episode, which I will probably record straight after this one because I'm too nervous and I just want to get it done and get the beating out of the way. So since the last time we met then, where we did secure our place in the FA Cup final with a 1-0 win over uh, Aston Villa in the FA Cup semi-final and a 4-1 defeat away at Spurs, uh, we lost one, drew one and won one. We lost to United 2-0, as we would expect. Beat Watford at home, 3-1, as you would expect. Drew away with West Ham, 2-2. Probably as you would expect, even though they've not had a very good season. And that leaves us then hosting Bournemouth, who have had a very, very good season up in eighth. So, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. And one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of audience participation, I think, because there's been a few more comments kind of coming in recently. There's been a lot of love for the save and how well it's going, so thank you, obviously, everyone. What do you make of the team and where we are right now? I feel like we're in a very good position overall and we've achieved a lot more than I ever thought that we would do I'm I'm, I'm literally beside myself by how good we've been um, and how well we've been performing I'm not performing that well you can tell Mino's down his form's at 6.6 uh, Juric is at 6.64 and Collett is at 6.62 so there's been a little bit of a dip towards the end of this season um, fortunately we've kind of been playing in moments as Gary Neville says the lineup then is the usual one, as well as I didn't run you through it, but Hansen's a goal, Colette, Cooper, Edgar, Rack at the back four, Shabani, Juric, and Junko on the midfield three, with Pen Penkov on the right, he's been amazing. Uh, Mehic, who I'm very glad to have back, he is on the left, and of course Mino is leading the line up front, looking for him, hopefully, to get towards the 25 goal mark. The forgotten player in all of this is Chris Lamb, who we obviously bought last season, was one of our better players last year. He spent the majority of the year injured. Now, I know he's a very good player, and he's got a lot of potential still to go. But is it worth just getting rid of him? Just because he's... I'm paying him a fair amount of wages, and he's not playing because he's always injured. Is he just one of those players that's so injury-prone, it's not worthwhile keeping him? I don't know. As Bournemouth have the first shot there, as Cooper heads it away. Penkov now down the right-hand side, gives the ball away. Oh, OK, apparently that was higher. Jesus, Bournemouth have started well. They've had six shots in the first ten minutes. OK, at least we've had some shots now. We've had four shots. Uh, only one on target, as is our custom. Make it five and only one on target, as is our custom. But at least we've started the game now. Maximiliano whips it in, and Bol Dawson heads it straight over the bar. We're not having the best game here it's safe to say possession is down at 41% normally at home I would back us to you know dominate the ball a lot more but Bournemouth are really giving us the run around here and then Brown on the right side that's a great ball to Adamida Adamida brilliant save by Papa Hansen who's had a sensational season proven I was right to probably sell Nolan um, last year oh, this is Rack heads it clear I mean we've not made it to one second ball yet Bournemouth just literally keep on coming. We cannot get out at the moment. Not not going the way I wanted. Petit back into Oosterwald. Oosterwald. It's a great name, by the way. It's an Amida and he heads over the bar. I'm not having a fun day. The important thing is we've had an absolutely shocking half. But it's still nil-nil. That is the most important thing here. Nil-nil at the break. It's going to be an exciting game. Might as well just play the FA Cup final and I've forgotten this bit. I'm going to tell the boys I'm not happy. Um, because I'm not, because this has been a really poor half of football and I expect better and I'm guessing I'm probably going to need 
to bring someone on to liven this game up a little bit. I'm going to give the boys 10-15 minutes. If we don't start dominating the game, it's time to bring on the reinforcements. Maximiliano whips it. There you go, and that's going to be onside. I'd hazard a guess. I'll be amazed if he's off from that tight on. Yep, yeah, it's a goal. Papa Hansen does well, but then I'm a Barbie girl. It's knocked it in the back post. And I am ringing the changes. Juric is coming off. On comes Paolo Marcello. And I'm going to go for a bit more. Yonko's going to move into that advanced playmaker role just behind the striker. Bigger Shabani's going to move in there. And Paolo Marcello is going to continue his role in the middle of the park. He's also not been in brilliant form, but the, I mean, I'm very, very angry right now. This is not how I want to end a season. But I just wanted, I wanted a bit of momentum going into the Chelsea game. This is not how I intended for it to go. Mino is having an absolute shock. He's playing at 6.3 again. Emiliano, I mean that's gone just wide. Have we had a? I don't think we've had a highlight in this game yet. I genuinely don't think I've seen us have a highlight yet, which is just, are we going to see a bit of Ricky attack in this game? I don't think we are. This has been one hell of a performance by Bournemouth as Martinez goes on goal. Papa Hansen, yeah, we've literally just been played off the off the park today, and I I can't. I can't begrudge them it. They've been absolutely brilliant from start to finish. But 6.2 for Mino, 6.4 for Penkov. I mean, the damning statistic is the on-targets one. As Aqua steps over the ball and hits it, he's at the bar. This boy is some player. It's a damning statistic. Eight shots, one on target. That is just so poor in every respect. It's such a bad return. And I'm, I'm delighted we finished in the top half. I'm delighted that I mean we've had a second shot on target, so that that's good enough. It's really, really not. The defensive kept us in it again. Papa Hansen, Cooper, Edgar, as always, have been brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm not happy about that. That's a really poor performance and not the way I want to end the season. I can take losing. I can't take that kind of losing where you don't create anything. But the most important thing is that we have received £23 million pounds for our finish of ninth in the Premier League, which is amazing news. The squad got a collective bonus payout, and we finished in the top half comfortably. Four points over Leicester, six points ahead of 11th place Newcastle. We're in that lovely little bit of no man's land, just below everyone, at, you know, just kind of like below the big six, if you will. Although Southampton have sort of taken Liverpool out of that, which I find baffling. But we're, we're nowhere near relegation, which is the most important thing. Uh, going down Fulham, Norwich, West Brom, it's almost like real life, isn't it? It's the same yo-yo clubs. And so it's going to be then on to the FA Cup final, which is the only thing we've got to do before the end of the season. <sighs> Vega thinks he should be starting more games. I'm not being funny, mate, but my back two are incredible. So we gained 17 points in last year and finished with a positive goal difference. Last year, it was minus 34. This year, plus one. Solid. Michael Edmonds wants to start more games. I'll sell you. No, that won't be necessary. I think it will, Michael. I think it will. Why is everyone coming to me before the end of the season saying, Oh, I need more game time. You've got one game left this year, mate. Bit bloody late, isn't it? Raymond John wants to start more games. Raymond John can be sold. No, it won't be necessary. Well, then stop complaining. Well, we do have a new player that's coming from the academy as well. Ibrahim Aduru, who's 15 years old. And I have to say, there are some bits about this guy I quite like. At 15, he's 6 foot already. He's got some pretty decent physicals. Obviously, hopefully they'll grow a lot over the next few years or so. But the mentals on this young man look very, very good. The 18 bravery obviously stands out. So does the work rate. Tackling is 16 at 15 years old. Not bad. He's obviously a very defensive left back, but hopefully, if with Rax tutelage, he can get better going forward. He could be one of our, you know, one of our actual academy prodigies, which would be lovely. <laughs> Aaron Phillips wants to play more games. You could definitely get sold. I don't want to leave, boss. I just want to play. I don't want you to play, so you're leaving. I will do the team meeting just before the final. I said, no one expects us to win it. You've done brilliantly getting there. And it's actually, actually paid off. Everyone loves that. Brilliant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the episode here because I want to do the FA Cup final. It's a whole episode on its own. Um, sorry the Bournemouth game wasn't the most exciting. Sorry, we got absolutely pasted. 
Obviously, all eyes were on the cup final. That's why I rotated the squad so much. What I will say is thank you so much for watching today's episode, guys. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. Of course,